guys to heal it. Hey, today we're gonna make some fantastic raw milk yogurt. It's really helped me like get a normal still consistency like every day. I've had problems for like last five years where I've been going either once a week or several times a day. And now it's just beautiful, like twice, you know, and really great homemade yogurt made from raw milk. This is cow's milk today. It's going to get you there. It's going to really help get all like, the bacteria in place. The reason why it's so, so important to make your own homemade yogurt is the shop stuff never compares. Because you've got to remember, when like everything in the shop it's made to kind of be a certain way. So it's always trying to be like, like the sweetest generally. So it's never very sour. It's never very natural by itself. Because they always put some sugar or sweet in it, which is never great. So that's why you want to make your own. Shop yogurt is only in the yogurt maker for only about eight hours. Just enough to set, like to get the beautiful consistency people love about yogurt. Royal homemade yogurt should be made for 24 hours, so that's three times longer, and it makes a huge difference. When it ferments for three times longer, so 24 hours, you get a yogurt which is very tart, very sour, a lot of lactic acid. This makes it, it's an acquired taste, it's like Greek yogurt. I mean, but Greek yogurt is very popular with the branding it has. But it can't be stressed more enough, that's how it should be. So it's a lot of lactic acid and a lot of bacteria, because the bacteria has longer to grow. It's had more time to eat all the sugars. It, bacteria live on sugars. In milk, it's the lactose it eats. So after 24 hours, it's had time to like eat all the lactose. So there's most bacteria and the least amount of lactose. And lactose is what causes a lot of people problems. Also, when it's had so much time to kind of to basically develop, change. The casein in it, which is also something people have problems with in terms of like reactions and stuff, that also breaks down into small amino acids. But yogurt just hasn't got that time where the casein is broken down in the milk into smaller proteins, which are more easily digestible and more easily available to the body. I almost forgot. It's tart, it breaks through the palate. It just breaks through the palate, cleans the palate up. If you have like problems with addiction, addiction, people don't want to say that, but if you have habits where you eat poor food, especially a lot of sweet processed food, then this tartness, the lactic acid, like I mentioned here, it kind of cleans your palate up and it kind of makes you actually kind of more crave, it actually makes you crave more sour foods. And when you crave more sour foods, then you're eating less sweet food, of course. But not even sour food, so much more savoury, you see. It's just so wholesome and it's real. And because it's homemade, you know exactly what you put into it and what you didn't put into it. I'm going to use this alongside my apple crumble for my next recipe. It's great by itself. It's great with a bit of vanilla. But the main thing, it makes me feel really good. So I'm going to keep doing it. Not too much, but one of these a day. And like a bit of kefir as well for the probiotics. It really sorts you out. I hate, number one thing remember, supplement companies are worth millions and millions and billions of dollars and pounds. And supplements is not how you should get probiotics, vitamins, enzymes. It's through what we put into ourselves. The water we drink the fruit, whatever, it's the liquids, the, the solids, whatever we eat, that's how it's meant to come, but in its natural form. When you buy a supplement tablet, I mean, don't expect the same benefits you're going to get if you make it, if you make the best quality food. 
I mean, I've spent hundreds of pounds of supplements and they've done nothing to me. Nothing could help that but this. And real food. Like, subscribe, comment. See you next time. Thank you. Remember, 